This episode of the Android Apps Weekly Show is brought to you by eThemer Launcher. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Android Apps Weekly. Okay, let's jump right into some headlines. Google addressed their WebView problem this last week. They offered some advice on how to deal with it, but the bottom line is that it's broken and that no one should be using it ever. Dish's Sling TV Web TV platform is now open to those who have an invite. If you don't have one, don't worry. The full release is scheduled for a few weeks. Law enforcement officials are asking Google to shut down the part of Waze that lets people track cops after two police officers were unfortunately killed late last week. Waze said that they will not be doing any of that. The Marriott Hotel released an update this last week to patch a bug that made it stupid simple for hackers to get credit card information. Apparently, the bug has been in the application since its release in 2011. The former Opera CEO has announced a new web browser called Vivaldi that'll have features like integrated mail and a whole lot more eventually. The tech preview is available right now and we'll have that link in the video description below if you're interested in checking it out. Rolling Stone magazine is publishing their entire archive dating back to 1967 to Google Play and you can access that when it's available using the Google Newsstand application. Spotify is running a promo right now to give people 60 days of free premium service. This came just before Spotify announced a new partnership with Sony to create PlayStation Music, which will eventually be replacing PlayStation Unlimited. With only a few days left, Humble Bundle has added a few more games to the Humble Bundle 10 set. If you want them, act fast because the sale ends at the end of the weekend. Also, charity fucking rocks. Now let's take a look at the app updates from this last week. Google Search on mobile is getting a new feature where you'll be able to view movie information in beautiful material design and that update is rolling out right now. Plex released an update that included some tweaks to the UI, a new payment structure, and the ability to cast your camera roll to any Plex client, and that update is also rolling out right now. Twitter now allows direct messaging with up to 20 people, and you can now shoot and upload clips directly to your Twitter stream. Think like Vine, but for Twitter. Snapchat released a new update that comes with a feature called Discovery. It essentially lets you view Snapchats from large news sources to keep you up to date on what's going on Snapchat style. Hotspot Shield VPN released an update that brings three new protection modes for improved simplicity and ease of use, and that is available now in the Google Play Store. Before we get into the new Android app releases this week, let's talk very quickly about our sponsor. This week we're sponsored by eThemer Launcher. It is a new launcher that boasts over 2,000 themes, 200 fonts, some gesture controls, and plenty of customization options. It is an early release, but it's a very solid and quick experience. It's totally free with no in-app purchases, so it won't cost you anything to try it out, and you can find that link in the video description below. Now let's take a look at the Android apps that were released this week. Microsoft has released Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for Android tablets after a year of hearing us complain about not having it. The basic functionality for each application is totally free to use, but to get the full experience, you'll need an Office 365 subscription. So far, each application seems to work pretty well, but do keep in mind that these are early releases and improvements are likely right around the corner. Last up this week, Facebook has released a new light application that is intended for devices with spotty connectivity and lesser specs. The interface is very scaled down, although it is noteworthy that the messaging is built back into the main app here, and it's not in the regular one, so that's actually kind of a plus. Otherwise, it's a basic Facebook experience without too many frills. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. Why you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below, along with all of the links from all of the apps that we talked about here today. Also, this is a new format, so if you have any comments or questions or recommendations, leave me a comment and let me know about it, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.